In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to take your 2D rhinoceros file and insert it into Autodesk Fusion 360 as a DXF. Before you export your 2D rhinoceros file, you need to make sure that your part is the correct size. Looking at my grid, it's 1 by 3, and you can double check with the dimension tool. 3 inches by 1 inch. You also need to make sure that your line segments are properly joined. Notice this outside shape is all one continuous pass as well as the circle. But since I did some intersecting line segments and trimming, these line segments are not joined. So we need to join them together. Go to select it all. It's okay to have extra stuff selected that doesn't need to be joined. And then the join button is right here. And now these line segments have been joined together. Some of you might group with this button right here. Grouping is not the same as joining. Grouping basically takes objects and locks them together in their physical space. So now this is all one selection, but it's not one continuous line segment. So be aware of the difference between joining and grouping. Okay, gonna select everything, file, export selected. You can also do save as, it gets you the exact same result. We're gonna change our file type to AutoCAD Drawing Exchange File, parentheses .dxf. Save this on my desktop. Give it a file name. Save. Default export scheme works just fine. Click OK. And now in Fusion, always save your work. Protomax folder. Save. New component. Insert DXF. Our plane or sketch surface is going to be this bottom surface. We need to browse and find our DXF file. And then everything on here is good as default. Click OK. Use the inspect tool to check our measurements. Make sure nothing got switched. One inch. Hold down Alt, you can get the little quadrant snaps by three inches. Close, and now we can extrude our shape, our 2D pattern, into a 3D solid. Click OK. Save. And that is how you go from a 2D rhinoceros file into Fusion importing as a DXF and then you can continue to work in Fusion or go into the CAM workspace for programming for the water jet and I'll cover that in another video. Thank you.